All right, so let's take a look at CloudWatch Log Insights, and this allows you to interactively search and analyze your CloudWatch Log data. Uh, it's more robust than what we saw in the last slide. It's less burdensome than exporting your logs to S3 and analyzing them via Athena, and it supports all types of logs. And so the way it works is you're gonna log into the AWS console and go to CloudWatch Logs, Logs Insights, and that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna have this little uh, language you can put in there, uh, and you can run the query. You can select the log groups that you're gonna search across. Uh, and so they do have this own little query syntax that they have. It's not too hard to learn. It's not exactly SQL, but it's, uh, again, it's not too difficult. Uh, and they actually automate, automate it a lot for you. So you can click a bunch of buttons and it'll just generate it out for you. Uh, a single request can query up to 20 uh, log groups. Uh, queries uh, time out after 50 minutes if they're not completed. And query results are available for seven days. So let's just look at a little bit more stuff here. Uh, so obviously that query language uh, looks very complex. But the great thing is AWS is going to provide you a lot of great examples to get started. So what I can do, if I go to the left right hand side and I click on queries, they're going to have a bunch of sample queries and they pretty much meet all the use cases you'll need. Um, I, I rarely am writing uh, queries by hand. I just go to the sample queries and then tweak them from there. So you click apply. And so uh, now you're able to then visualize your information. It's cool. You actually get a little, a little visualization graph uh, there as well. And you can also save your queries. Um, so if you do have a query and you feel like you're not going to be able to write again, just save it and you'll have it there for later.